When a girl slept with the king, then he not make them pregnant. He only breaks them. <laughs>
garnering admiration and respect from young and old alike. Yet, it wasn't just Adesua's intelligence that captivated the hearts of her fellow villagers. She possessed a rare beauty, her radiant smile lighting up the darkest corners of Kundulu. It was said that God had crafted her in a moment of divine inspiration, bestowing upon her a beauty that transcended the physical realm. As Adesua continued to blossom into a remarkable young girl, tension simmered in the hearts of her parents. The shadow of the village's troubling tradition loomed over them, casting a pall of uncertainty over their daughter's future. Now, let's delve deeper into the heart of this bad tradition that has plagued Kondulu for generations. The village was plagued by a dreadful tradition. When a girl turns 20 years old, the king insists on sleeping with her. This tradition has been going on for generations. Every girl born in the village knows that when her 20th birthday arrives, she'll face this unsettling encounter. The king keeps a special calendar. On it, he marks the birth dates of all the girls in the village. When a girl reaches 20, he takes her as his own and sleep with her. When a girl slept with the king, then he not make them pregnant, he only breaks their virginity. It's like a countdown to a dark event. Inside the king's palace, there's a secret room. In this room, he hangs up pictures of the girls he's been slept with. These pictures serve as a twisted reminder of his power over their lives. The villagers are deeply upset by this abuse. They watch their daughters and sisters suffer silently, and they feel helpless because they can't do anything to stop the king. On the other hand, as Adesua grew up, she found out about the village's terrible tradition. She saw how sad and upset other girls became when they turned 20. Some even felt so hopeless they took their own lives. Adesua couldn't just watch this happen. She promised herself she would stop this tradition. She couldn't let the king hurt more girls. So she waited tremendously until she turned 20. When Will King asked her to sleep with him, she decided she had to stand up to him and have to finish this tradition. As the days went by, Adesua waited patiently for her turn because she wanted to stop this tradition completely. Finally, when Adesua turned 20, the king invited her to his palace, just like he did with every girl. Surprisingly, Adesua accepted the invitation happily. The villagers were shocked by Adesua's reaction. They had never seen a girl who seemed happy about the king's invitation before. But Adesua had a secret plan. She wasn't happy about the encounter itself. Instead, she saw it as her chance to end the tradition forever. Even though she felt happy, she kept her plan to herself because she was very smart and knew that keeping it a secret was important. Adesua's intelligence and cleverness had always made her stand out, and now she relied on these qualities to make her plan work perfectly. The king noticed Adesua's remarkable beauty, standing out even among the girls of the village. Unlike any other girl he had seen, she possessed a rare radiance that captured his attention. Impressed by her beauty, the king made a surprising decision. He would marry Adesua instead of just sleeping with her like he did with the others. This decision was not only influenced by Adesua's beauty, but also by the king's desire for an heir. His first wife had been unable to bear children because she was barren, leaving the throne without an heir. The king saw marrying Adesua as an opportunity to continue his lineage and ensure the bad tradition persisted for generations to come. The king wanted to keep the bad tradition going, so he planned to marry Adesua. He hoped that by having a son with her, he could pass on the tradition to the next generation. With great ceremony, the king announced his intention to marry Adesua, sending a message to her parents informing them of his decision. Despite the unexpected turn of events, Adesua remained steadfast in her determination. She accepted the king's proposal with an open heart, knowing that her plan to end the tradition remained unchanged. Behind her acceptance lay a hidden resolve to outsmart the king 
and put an end to the injustice once and for all. As the wedding ceremonies continued in the village, anticipation hung in the air. Meanwhile, Adesua, belonging to a family of farmers, often tended to her family's lands and crops alongside her father, Nuru. One day, while inspecting the crops, Adesua noticed that insects were ravaging their fields, preventing the crops from growing. Determined to find a solution, she sought out the village herbalist for help. Explaining the dire situation to the herbalist, Adesua requested a potent medicine that could rid their crops of the pests. Understanding the urgency of the matter, the herbalist provided Adesua with a poisoned medicine to be used as a pesticide. Grateful for the remedy, Adesua carefully took the medicine and returned to her home. Once back at her traditional home, Adesua secured the poisoned medicine in a safe place where only she could access it. Aware of the risks involved, she made sure to keep it out of reach from others, ensuring that it would be used only for her crops and plan. As the long-awaited day arrived, Adesua made her way to the king's palace to marry him. The village was alive with festivities as the union between Adesua and the king was celebrated with great pomp and splendor. Amidst the revelry, Adesua and the king retired to a private chamber to begin their first night together as husband and wife. Once alone in the room, the king approached Adesua with eager anticipation. My dear Adesua, tonight marks the beginning of our life together. I am filled with joy at the thought of spending eternity by your side, the king declared, his eyes gleaming with desire. However, Adesua, feigning discomfort, excused herself under the pretext of needing to use the restroom. Of course, my dear, take your time, the king replied, oblivious to Adesua's hidden agenda. Seizing the opportunity, Adesua swiftly made her way to the kitchen, where she prepared two glasses of hot milk. In the king's glass, she carefully added the poisoned medicine obtained from the herbalist. Returning to the room with the milk, Adesua presented the glasses to the king, suggesting they enjoy the night together with a warm beverage. Here, my love, let us savour this moment together, she said, her voice filled with feigned affection. The unsuspecting king accepted the gesture and drank from his glass. Within moments, the effects of the poison took hold, and the king succumbed to its lethal effects, collapsing lifeless before Adesua's eyes. Adesua congratulated herself on the successful execution of her plan. With a mix of relief and gratitude, Adesua thanked the heavens for delivering justice and putting an end to the dreadful tradition once and for all, ensuring the safety and freedom of the innocent girls in her village. As news of the king's sudden demise spread throughout the village, instead of mourning, the villagers felt a sense of relief. The oppressive shadow of the king's tradition had finally been lifted, and a newfound sense of freedom washed over them. Curious about the circumstances surrounding the king's death, the villagers gathered around his palace, eager to hear the details. Suddenly, Adesua emerged from the crowd, her head held high with determination. With unwavering courage, Adesua confessed to her actions, recounting how she had orchestrated the king's demise to put an end to the vile tradition once and for all. Despite her bravery, Adesua humbly demanded punishment for her unconventional methods. However, instead of condemnation, the villagers responded with admiration and gratitude. Adesua, you are a true hero, one villager exclaimed, tears of pride welling in their eyes. You have saved us all, another villager chimed in, echoing the sentiments of the entire community. Moved by Adesua's bravery and selflessness, the villagers unanimously agreed not to punish her. In their eyes, Adesua was a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance against injustice. And so, with Adesua's courageous act, the dark chapter of the village's history came to a close. The oppressive tradition was abolished forever, and Adesua remained the only young girl in the village whose virginity remained intact 
a testament to her unwavering resolve and indomitable spirit. The tale concludes with a profound lesson embedded within its narrative, the importance of taking action against evil. Just as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized in a hadith recorded in Sahih Muslim Hadith No. 9, whoever among you sees evil, let him change it with his hand. If he cannot do so, then with his tongue. If he cannot do so, then with his heart, which is the weakest level of faith. Adesua exemplified this principle by confronting the injustice with her own hands. This story teaches us that we all have the power to make a difference, whether it's by doing something directly, speaking up, or just feeling upset about it. If Adesua's story has taught you something, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and let's all work together to make the world a better place.